So ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> when doing a problem like this, please make sure, especially if you didn't get your notes last class period, that you write them down. Because it's very important for you guys to understand what a quadratic function is. <clears throat> you have to know what a quadratic function is. All right? A quadratic function is when you have your variables, you have it to the second power, and you have coefficients of a, b, and c. All right? Where a, b, and c are real numbers, where a cannot equal 0. Now, this is a quadratic function. So we need to determine what are our four. What do we have? We have a equals 1, b equals 0, and c equals 1. Right? Because you don't have your linear term x, so you can put a 0 times x. Right? Hopefully you follow me. All right. So remember, when we were talking about parabolas, we were looking at the shapes of parabolas. And there was a couple points that we talked about. Your parabola either had a maximum value or it had a minimum value. And in your notes, we talked about how do you know when it has a maximum or a minimum. That all depends on A, if A was greater than or less than 0. This is stuff we wrote down and we talked about last class period. So when A was less than 0, our vertex of our parabola, the vertex, was either a max or a min. Anybody remember? When A was less than 0, you have less than 0, so you have a max. And when A was greater than 0, you had a minimum point. So in, this, in my function, do I have A is less than 0 or greater than 0? A is greater than 0, because A is equal to 1 in my problem. So therefore, A is greater than 0. So therefore, I have a maximum value. That means my graph's going to look something like this. I'm sorry, minimum. Thank you. So A is going to look something like this, right? It's going to go up infinitely, and it's going to go to a minimum point. So now the next thing they ask us to do is to find the vertex. Um, <clears throat> I forget. And OK, so now we need to find that value. So how do you find that value? Well, ladies and gentlemen, remember, all parabolas have an axis of symmetry. So I know that the x value of this vertex, right? this is your minimum value. So the x value of that vertex is going to be um, opposite of b divided by 2 times a. Well, remember, b equals 0, right? So it's 0 divided by 2 times 1, which equals 0. So the x coordinate of my minimum value is at 0. To find the, um, the y, or the output, you just plug it in. So you plug in that value, f of 0, to give you 0 squared plus 1, which equals 1. So therefore, my, ma or my minimum value is equal to 1. That means the smallest value of my graph is equal to 1. The x value is at 0, but the output value, the minimum value of it, is at 1. Then it tells us to define the domain and range. Um, I got a very quick time span on this, so I'm going to do a short demonstration, quick one here, and then I'll do a, uh, a longer explanation next video. For here, guys, remember domain is all the x values. As this graph keeps on going up, is it going to keep on expanding? Yeah. Is there ever going to be a time that's going to stop? No. no. So for every single x value, I can create a coordinate point on my function, right? For every single x value. So therefore, we can say our domain is all real numbers, or it goes from negative infinity to infinity. However, this graph infinitely goes up, right? Does it infinitely go down? No. no. Where does it stop? How far low does it go down on the y-axis? It only goes down to the lowest value is what? 1. So I can say my range is from 1 to infinity. OK? And that is it. There you go. I'll do another, I'll do another example.